Hello everyone, today I want to bring a tutorial on a iron farm which is 30% more efficient than your standard simple iron farm. Um, and this is only by extending it with a few more blocks. These are the items you're gonna need. I've divided it up into three sections, one for the item collection, uh, the second for the kill zone and the third for the iron farm itself. Now besides these items you're also gonna need 10 villagers. Let's start by building the iron collection system. Next up we're gonna make the kill zone including the uh, drop shaft for the iron golems. And now for the iron farm itself, we're gonna start off by making an 8x8 platform, leaving the four middle blocks out. We'll surround that by a three high wall with glowstone in the top corners. Then we'll place water in each corner of the low spawn platform and start placing the doors. Before we start with the second spawn platform, we want to make a villager holding cell and put the villagers in place. We want to make sure the villager holding cell is spawn proof and also will straight away fill out the corners of the farm next to the doors with glass. Now we'll make the second spawning platform 16 by 16 blocks again, leaving the four middle blocks out.
glass edge around it to keep the water in place. And we fill in the water streams all pointed towards the center of the farm. Now that the iron farm is up and running, all there's left to do is set up the item sorting system. We're gonna need 45 iron, divided over these 5 hopper slots, and 45 poppies, divided over the other uh, hopper slots. That was it for this tutorial. If you want to see a tutorial on how to stack multiple of these farms on top of each other without the villages interfering, then make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, and see you later.